Today I will be making a pH indicator using red cabbage. First of all, you will need a blender. The blender will be half full with water. Also, get some leaves from your red cabbage. So my leaves are in the blender and I'm going to blend them. I'm going to set it to liquefy. Time to liquefy. So as you can see, there are lots of little bits of the leaves that are left, but we're going to use a strainer to get those out of the liquid. So there's our liquid and there's the strainer. There's another batch I made earlier, the pH indicator. I'm going to filter the liquid into the other batch of pH indicator. So my strainer's on top and I'm just going to pour it in. Gonna let all the liquid through. There. So there's still bits of leaves in there. So I'm gonna strain it again. This time I put in a beaker. I'm using a smaller strainer with smaller holes so the pieces of leaf can't get through. After you have filtered it, it should look like this where there are no bits of leaf in there. Okay, so here are three cups of the pH indicator. The one on the left is the control. The one on the right is a basic test, and the one in the middle is an acidic test. And I'm going to add some vinegar to the acidic test one. As you can see, it turns red. You can compare the color to the control, which is purple. Now I'm going to add some baking soda to my basic test. And I'm going to stir it. And as you can see, it turns blue while the control is purple. Control is neutral. Acidic test is acidic. And basic test is basic. Baking soda isn't that much of a base. If you add stronger bases, it would probably turn green. Thanks for watching.